Okay, so today we're going to talk about some single-celled microorganisms. We're going to first talk about a kind of algae that grows in a colony. And if you were to look at each individual um, member of this colony, they have a tiny little spherical body and two little tails called flagella that kind of wiggle back and forth in the water to help move the entire colony around. Now this whole sphere is covered in these little um, algae colonies called volvox. And inside they have what we call daughter colonies. And basically those can grow up and break off and become their own uh, colonies. So this is the volvox. It's an algae, which means it uses uh, sunlight to produce its own food. The second one is a type of protozoa. This one is called a euglena. And a euglena is a, a photosynthetic protozoa. Protozoa means first animal. Okay, So this protozoa has a tremendously long flagellum, just one big long whip tail to help it move around. It has an eye spot to sense light and dark so that if it gets close to the light it can help photosynthesize because as you can see it has chloroplasts just like a plant. Okay, It also has a nucleus and oops misspelled nucleus let me fix that there um, and it also has some other little organelles that we don't really need to know about right now. So this is a euglena. It is a protist with chloroplasts so it is photosynthetic but it can move around. It is an animal. Okay, it's a protozoa, a first animal. Next one is what we would call a paramecium. And a paramecium has um, what we would call a bunch of cilia along the outside of it. It's kind of like a flagellum, but a whole bunch of tiny little ones. And so they kind of ripple just like um, wind through grass. Okay and uh, it has a food vacuole where it, it breaks down the food and it has an anal pore where it releases food and it releases its waste. The oral groove is where the food goes in and there you have the nucleus and then you have some other um, parts of the cell as well. Okay, That is a paramecium. It is a single celled organism that is uh, an animal like one. Okay, it, it can move around, it hunts and things like that. Finally, the last one we have is the most kind of strange shaped one of all of them. This is an amoeba. An amoeba has what we would call pseudopods. Pseudopods means false foot. And it kind of moves by stretching out those sections and then the rest of the body kind of shrinks back in to kind of fill in. Kind of like how maybe an octopus would move. Okay, And here I've drawn a paramecium inside and it has a food vacuole kind of parked right next to it that it's taking food energy from it. The way a, uh, an amoeba eats is if it finds a source of food, let's say, uh, it finds a, a little paramecium or something, and I'll draw that here in a minute, um, it kind of just like moves to swallow, just to completely engulf it, okay? So here's a paramecium, and you can see that those, those false feet, if it would just kind of move like this and just slowly move around until it has completely enveloped it and then it would basically just start eating it okay so those are the four types of single-celled uh, protists that we we're talking about plus the algae 